welcome to the law of money and you, but we are in a hurry. I'm Roberta Safaz, Camille, and Camille Barron. Darren. We're in a hurry. Hurry, Camille. Camille's gathering the uh, books and stuff. We're on our way to a rotary meeting, and Zachary Chung and Michaela Chung, who just came back from RILA, the Rotary Youth Leadership Award. Awards, mm -hmm. uh, is the guests at Rotary meeting tonight to tell them all about their experiences, and they went to RILA on our recommendations. So let's go. Come let's on, go. we got to go. Stay tuned. Yeah. Most people here know that in addition to my daytime job, I'm also a co-founder of the Law, Your Money, and You with Roberta Sapphire. Uh, it is a nonprofit 501c3 organization, and our mission is to promote financial and legal literacy. And we do that in two ways. First of all, we have a cable TV show with the same name, The Lawyer, Money, and You, that's produced here in Sharon, but it is running in about two dozen other communities around Boston, including Boston. The other way that we do this is by engaging in projects that are designed to disseminate information about finance or legal issues that most people face from time to time. And we especially like to work with youth because we, we just think that that's an, a market that's underserved in terms of learning about finance and learning about the practical side of legal issues. So for instance, we, had, uh, we were involved and in, in actually co-founded the very first high school fair, the financial reality fair at Sharon High School back in 2015. And Roberta and I and Jerry, who is on our advisory board, participated greatly and we had our own, uh, our own booth and the Rotary had a booth. It was very good and we continued years after that as well. And we also have um, been uh, distributing these children's activity coloring books called Police Officers Are Our Friends. This came about as a result of a grant that we received that allowed us to design and publish these books that are distributed to police departments in Sharon, and right now I think we're up to about 15 communities right now. Another 12. With another 12 on the waiting list, right? And what happens is these books are customized for each department. Th their information on the front is pretty close to what the other towns have. But inside there are pictures and games that we collaborate with the police on and it turns out to be a customized book just for that town. Each town is unique. And in, in fact, on the back of this cover, which is the second edition of the Sharon book, we have a picture here that was drawn by former police chief Tilden Kaufman. And this picture was drawn when he was, would you say, uh, eight? Five or, six, five or six years old, because he knew then that he wanted to believe, be a policeman. So this is the kind of specialization that each police department gets. We don't charge them a dime. We do it all out of goodwill, either funding like that grant that we had, or it could be donations or even sponsorships. So we, um, we had the benefit of having Zach and Michaela Chung to not only help us, but actually to be very involved in, in taking kind of a leadership role in designing these books. Uh, Zach does a lot of the, did a lot of the work, the legwork, and, and has a lot of material in here. And his sister, Michaela, is, has done as well those kinds of things, but she also is a very talented artist. So she did some of the drawings in here freehand. So let me introduce Zach and Michaela Chung. They're going to be telling us about the visit and their experience at RILA last year. And the reason that we recommended them, Roberta works very closely with our interns, and she, she recognized the talent that they had. And she thought it would be a wonderful way to help them grow their leadership skills. We've had other students in the past previous years as well who have worked with us and then gone on to RILA. I think you'll be very pleased to hear what they have to say. So come on up. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for having us here as guests. 
Um, so we would like to tell you a little bit about our Ryla experience. Um, so we got to spend a few days in, at Cape Cod um, at a camp and we basically took uh, a bunch of leadership activities uh, that built teamwork, um, communication skills, and uh, helped form new friendships. Um, there were strangers that I met there uh, who I did not know at first entering Ryla, and uh, they turned out to uh, become great friends by the end of the weekend. Um, uh, yeah, so Ryla was a very uh, positive and outgoing environment. Everyone supported each other equally, so it felt it was a very encouraging environment. And because people were always encouraging you, you felt the same to do to yourself. So, you know, it was it was a weekend where both physical and emotional boundaries were pushed. So when you first get off the bus, all of the leaders greet you immediately with a lot of positive energy. And uh, it's a really big surprise, when, especially when you get off the bus, um, because you're just sitting there for an hour, uh, either on your phone, and then suddenly you're surprised by this group with uh, great energy. Then you, uh, you sign in, and then they bring you to your rooms uh, where you'll be staying the weekend. Um, and then meanwhile, you get to do a few activities which uh, help you meet new people, uh, get people situated, as well as wait for uh, other people arriving at the camp. Um, and then over the few weekends, we went rock climbing, um, and we had a zip line, um, and they really built these uh, teamwork skills that we didn't really have going into the camp. and. You got to work with the people in your family. You were assigned different colors, so like red, blue, yellow. Um, there, there were 12 different groups. You had about 8 to 12 people each group. And uh, these were people that from other towns um, you never met before. Um, and you got to meet them, talk. Uh, it definitely built new friendships there. And that was just a great experience. Uh, yeah, the, the the boundaries between people were very clear when you first got in, but they were broken very quickly. And we learned how to trust each other within the first night. And by trusting each other the first night and breaking those boundaries, we were able to uh, put more trust into each other, uh, both physically and emotionally. We shared things with each other that we might not have told others. And we were able, uh, the next day we went to a ropes course on that Saturday, and we held each other up quite physically. <laughs> and um, we were all just cheering each other on, and by by getting rid of those boundaries right away, it was an experience that really isn't gotten anywhere else because um, it's just a very unique experience to have those boundaries broken so quickly. Uh, excuse me, we really stay up I'm very impressed with Zach because he's usually very quiet. <laughs> but this, this experience, we can even see the Ryla. I mean, he's he's just two brilliant people there. But how how here? I got a question from somebody here. How are you going to contribute? How are you going to continue to grow in your leadership skills now that you've been to Ryla? And what ways will they be valuable to you as you continue? Yeah, sure. yeah, so something that really stuck with me was um, the guest speaker at Ryla, who was Mark Wayshack, uh, who is a really famous author. And he taught about how having a positive state of mind and believing you can do anything that you dream of can l lead to positive results. And that really stuck with me because it it taught me more about that when you're a leader, you don't just have to be doing all these great things and positive things. Part of it is inspiring others to do great, and that's a big role. So with that in mind, after Ryla, um, I decided with my club at the Sharon High School, um, Reach Out to Refugees, that we would start influencing uh, other people to help with the, um, the cause as well and inspire others to do good as well with uh, our new campaign, which is uh, Operation Reach Out, we're starting. 
Yeah. Um, being a part of that community, it was it was really easy to fall in line with others because the people who were there thought very similarly to everyone else that was there. It was a very like-minded community. So bringing that back to Sharon, it's uh, it's been helpful to open up my perspective to how other people think and how other people look at the world. I think overall the Ryla experience will made us better leaders and will definitely help in the future with leadership roles um, and just teamwork, working with others. And it definitely helps in fields such as like <coughs> engineering, um, business, because you have to work with people and it's leadership, teamwork, those are two important skills. <coughs> and this would definitely be highly recommended to anyone else who seeks to gain leadership skills. And overall, it was a worthwhile experience. Did you guys have anyone that you talked to when you got back, um, you know, classmates or anything, who showed interest in wanting to be involved in this? And will you share their names with us? <laughs> 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 the answer. Yeah, uh, when I came back, my friends were wondering why I wasn't there that Friday, because the weekend had gone from uh, Friday to Sunday. And some of the kids who had went had also skipped that Mondays because we got back pretty late. Um, so I had friends ask me where I was, and I like to this day I have people like some a few of my friends are still interested in going, and they, you know, they're asking me like when the application is out and what they should do for it. I think um, the way that I personally talked about the experience to them, it was I think I think it was influential because I just had positive energy coming out from that trip. Service project that you did. Um, for that, we we uh, worked to build uh, t toy dog toys and uh, dog beds, um, and we also did a scavenger hunt, which included facts about uh, d animals around the world, and that was very informative too. So it was like a bit of uh, actually working it hands on and uh, more of the just information learning about that. Where are the dog beds and the toys going? I think they sent it to a local um, dog shelter near Cape, in the Cape Cod area. Well, they were excellent. They certainly were, and we're very proud of them as our team members and also as, in my case, I'm a member of the Rotary Club, and we value so much what the youth have to contribute to Rotary and to the world. And I'm asking you, if you are an Interact student or any other student and you're watching this, you already know how important leadership is to the success that you seek in your life. And if you're going to plan to go to college, for instance, just think about how important and how much it sets you apart to have this kind of a, uh, an experience of Even leadership. Even if they don't go to college, your job's out there, you lead, you people lead. will follow. You lead, you're valuable. So yeah. no matter what, it's an experience that is highly worthwhile. If you would like more information about Interact or about RILA, please be sure to let us know. You can email us at info at the law, your money, and you. Yeah, and we want you, whether you want to join RILA or um, the Rotary or Interact or just be a team member of ours so that we can help spread the good word. You bet. Because remember. Remember, this is your show. The law, your money, and, and you. you.